Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, tonight's content almost needs no introduction. Nancy Pelosi has pulled the bills for the assault weapons ban and for the revocation of the PLCAA from the House, meaning it will not be voted on before they return from the August recess, even closer to the election. This has massive ramifications. We're going to dive into as much as we can in this video. Everything is going to be linked in the description box below per usual. And if you are new, we are always looking to earn that subscription so we can get information about just things like this to you guys quickly and efficiently in order to pass our blessing of the Second Amendment along to the next generation. Thank you so much for your consideration. And if you like this shirt, this is the shirt that I co-designed with Nine Line. This shirt is amazing and it's being received exceedingly well. This is something that is commemorating our victory of constitutional carry. We are getting 50% of the states. We are halfway there, baby. On the front, it shows all the red states that are constitutional carry. And on the back, it shows constitutional carry tour 2022 to commemorate all the states we had this year. And it is in a tour format with my logo right below. I would love for you guys to pick one up. This is a limited, limited time design from Nine Line. There's a link in the description box below. And thank you in advance for checking that out. But... Let's get to the big news because this, oh, baby, oh, baby, let's get it. Democrats delay votes on police gun control legislation. You notice how it all of a sudden became a police legislation once they got, it, you know, got stalled? Yeah. Package includes bills on new assault weapons ban to reinstate some civil liability for gun makers and on grants for police. Now, that whole reinstate some civil liability for gun makers means revoking the PLCAA, which means they can be sued out of existence across the board from anyone. That was a big ploy, but that's also been pulled. But let's continue because, like I said, the ramifications of this are massive because now what the Democrats wanted to have was a big accountability vote saying, see, we passed it, but those mean old Republicans, they didn't do anything about it. See, they don't like you, so you should vote for Democrats. Well, they didn't get it out of the House because their own Democratic Party didn't support this. This has massive implications because now they don't have a cudgel to beat the Republicans over the head with around gun control, at least not yet, and that is something to celebrate. So, House Democratic leaders pulled back on planned votes this week on a package of public safety bills that included police grant funding and an assault weapons ban amid division within their caucus. Again, this was an assault weapons ban that had some grants for police. This was not a police bill that had some assault weapons stuff. They're trying to um, obfuscate that. That's not the way it is. And there's division within their caucus. It's almost like there's an election right there in a couple of months that is kind of putting pressure on Democrats and Republicans alike that, hey, don't cross our Second Amendment or you will not be in power. This is backfired spectacularly. Let's keep going. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Democrat, California, acknowledged an internal Democratic split in a statement Wednesday, but said the House may still vote on the measures in August when members are expected to return to convene for vote on a reconciliation bill. You think you're going to have a vote on this thing that you can't get now because people are too nervous for the election a month closer to the election. Okay, boo-boo. I look forward to seeing that and we'll be right here waiting to make more calls to support against you in that effort. The plan package included a bill to create a new assault weapons ban. We talked about it ad nauseum. A bill to reinstate some civil liability for gun makers and bills to establish new federal grant programs for local police. Now, the what I'm reading, kind of the rumor mill here, is the progressives didn't want anything to do with police. The moderate Democrats didn't want anything to do with an AWB. And the Democratic Party is fractured on this, which is beautiful. All right, so let's keep going here. However, the House Rules Committee pulled the bills from consideration Wednesday as the House Oversight and Reform Committee held a hearing on the role of gun manufacturers in the wave of mass situations in recent weeks. They pulled the bills from consideration Wednesday. That's the Rules Committee. It didn't even go to the Rules Committee. That's something that's important. So they're probably going to try to rework this and get some Republican collaboration and get a little bit less Democrat... They're playing the game right now, but they just got stuffed a hard L right here on the forehead. Just saying. But there's more. However, Democrats have not shored up support for the assault weapon ban in the House, where they are only a five-seat majority. An assault weapons ban is expected to get heavy opposition from Republicans in the Senate. That's something that we said on this channel. Leave it in the comments if you remember when we said it was going to get stymied in the Senate. We talked about that ad nauseum. We expected that it was going to get through the House. They didn't even get it through the House. That is a victory in itself. 
Yeah, it's an insult that they put it out there. It's an insult that a lot of Democrats are going to vote for. It. It's an infringement across the board at the very mention of it. However, the fact that they could not even motivate enough Democrats to do this tells you you are in a stronger position than they want you to think that you are. All the calls that you made, all the emails that you made, you made noise and they heard you. This is incredibly important and that is our system at work. The Democrats are split now. They've been split for a while. We've been talking about that consistently. It's showing. The cracks are showing. You have the moderates over here. You have the progressives over here. And then you have the middle leadership who's trying to get something done so they'll get slaughtered in the midterms, which, knock, knock, they're heading towards because now they're failing on even their most basic priority bills that didn't have a chance in the Senate, but they still wanted to get them for accountability votes, and that turned against them. And this is a great day overall for freedom. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you tomorrow morning on the bullet points where we're going to dive into more of this and a few more details here that are going to come out, and I cannot wait to see you then. I'm Braden. See you later.